Hello, this is Hydratech, 24th of November 2013. What we are looking at here is the first of two coils I'll be testing. Both coils share a certain number of physical characteristics such as the coil winding method and connection method to and from the outside world. What I would like to do in this video, however, is just concentrate on a description of the connection method so to that end, we start with the positive side of a speaker output taken from an audio amplifier. That's this white lead here. Now that connects to the A plus of the coil via the first of two RMS multimeters. The negative side of that same speaker output is connected directly to the B minus side of the coil. The A minus side of the coil is connected to the hot side of this 40 watt incandescent light bulb via a current probe and the second of two RMS multimeters. The ground side of that light bulb is connected directly to the B plus of the coil. So, in a short recap, the bulb is connected across terminals B plus and A minus of the coil. Connected in parallel to that light bulb is a 27 nanofarad capacitor. So, the ground side is represented as follows. We have B plus of the coil connected to the ground side of the bulb, which is connected to the ground side of the capacitor. All that is common to this simple ground point here, which incidentally will be used as the common ground reference for future oscilloscope based measurements, which will be undertaken throughout this short series of videos. What remains now in a follow up video will be a description of the test equipment and how it's going to be used.